Where where's Sam gonna be in ten years time? Oh, um, I've always said the dream for me would be like nothing more than uh, l living from my music. You know, I'm not asking for much really. I just want to be able to get to the point where, you know, you can live a stable life and do the things that you want to do and you need to do, and not out of proportion, you know, but be able to like have the, the enough money to do the things that you want to do and have that comfortableness. Yeah, yeah. But not too much because it's important to not get in that mindset because then nothing's ever enough. Mater I, I, materialistic I, yeah, sort of mindset. I, I've never yeah. felt like that. Um, it's, yeah, my, the dream for me would definitely be a house, a little house. I don't care if it's a little shed. Next to the beach? Oh, the, the, de the dream was on a green hill yeah. in Warpole, somewhere in Warpole on a green grassy hill overlooking maybe like a little bit of an ocean view, a wood fire. And, you know, being able to live off my music and just the things that I love to do, and that's it. And don't need an Ed Sheeran jet plane. Just I, I, <laughs> If I'm still driving my Subaru Forester, that's great. Just <laughs> as long as you're happy and comfortable. Love that's it. That's good. Yeah, love that's it. the dream. But, it, yeah, hopefully in terms of music-wise, doing a few tours around Australia. I'd love to do some shows overseas in the future when I build up a fan base for that. Um, yeah, just see where it takes me. It's the not knowing is the fun of it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Love it. What are your worst injuries you've you've done while surfing the box That's or, not a or good surfing? Question. Oh no. No, you it's don't very you appropriate. You don't you don't I, you, I, I have you don't I, need I to answer, answer it. Yeah, you can, can you can give us the PG um, one if you want, PG, or give us or give us the R rated up to PG you. PG version is uh the first time I surfed out there, it was the second wave took off and I went top to bottom and just had no idea and just ate the most load of poop I've ever, <laughs> I've ever <laughs> ate. Um, I, there's holes in the reef everywhere and um, obviously one leg went down one hole and one leg went down the other hole and Scary. sort of like there's a scar there from like three years ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I went down and I just smacked into the reef um, this is pretty exclusive. I've done set up this over interview, I don't think before, but it's it's like this big lump of reef just smacked me there, but it went in right in between my legs and yeah. it split my nuts out. Oh no, that's not what you need. That's a tough no. moment. That is a that's a scary moment in the wetsuit. <laughs> there was a hole in my wedding and there was blood coming out. Oh no. And I came up screaming, I was like Oh no, <laughs> not what you want. And then oh, these guys out the back were like, shut up! <laughs> like, you sissy! <laughs> my nuts! <laughs> it was. <laughs> and all, a lot of the guys on. A lot of the surfers, like, they, one of them asked me what the worst injury was that I'd done out there once, yeah. like, from, on the guys on tour. And, I was like, oh, I did this. And they're like, what? Are you kidding me, man? Oh, my God. They're like, knew me as a nutsack. But I, I, um, no, it was, I was lucky that it, it, although it was a bad injury, like it wasn't bad. I just went to the hospital. I got yeah. stitches, stitches, and it was all good. And, and, and another bit of stitches, yeah. yeah, so, yeah well, so well, was, I'm glad you, you, you're, you're able to have some kids yeah, in the future. Yeah, still can have so, kids. Yeah. Um, Nerve-wracking, mm. but yeah, getting stuck in reef, that's one of my had, um, one of my biggest yeah, fears. I had PTSD, like I couldn't go out. For a while? Yeah, for a while. The, the only reason why I started surfing out there again was because I saw John John going out, and I was like, oh, I'm going to go out. Just, just John John. Oh, so like, he was, John, he was John, actually John out John there at Florence. the time. Yeah, oh, you got to you got to go surfing with and him. And I went out there. Was Number just, one in the world at the moment? He, no, no, nah, but he, he's world champion at, in previous years. Yeah, yeah. One of the best surfers in the world for sure. And I went out there, and it was just me and him. And I was a photographer and, and we we're just sharing waves. And he called me onto this set and he's like, go, grab it. And I just <laughs> took off. I was like, I have to. That's John John. Yeah, Come on. yeah, yeah. So I took it and that just destroyed the um, sort of bad the fear. for me. Yeah. And so you, you nailed that wave? Yeah, I got, it. I got some yeah. good shots from yeah. this. Yeah, love it. Now, yeah. for, for listeners that um, don't know what The Voice is or they haven't seen season 11, um, do you want to just give us a little bit of a rundown of 
yeah of 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 your experience yeah so it's um it's it is pretty much a reality tv show but it's a, almost like a competition you know you've got um a bunch of artists performing in front of four chairs that are face the other way and those four judges are uh, keith urban jessica malboy rita aura and guy sebastian so it's pretty some intimidating. big names, some yeah, big names it's... that you know are sitting there that you can't see as you and Sorry to cut you off, but what were you feeling like when you were walking out um, to do your live audition? Um, I, because we were in Sydney two weeks prior doing a lot of other filming and stuff. I was really nervous the two weeks before, but then sort of the two days leading up to knowing that I was about to jump on stage, I just, just relaxed, took yeah. a few deep breaths and I was more excited to get out there than I was nervous. Awesome. It was just wanting to just get out there and do what I do every day, really, because it's just, I just had to remind myself that, you know, what do I want to do when I get to my venue? I just want to jump on stage and play. So I just treated it as that. I just went out there and just stayed relaxed. And I got nervous at the end when I, they were in front of me and I had to talk to them because I was like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> And how many judges turned around? Um, I had two. Um, I had Keith and Jess. Love um, it. At the time, um, you know, Rita and Guy were sort of starting to fill up, so everyone was getting a bit picky. Uh, but um, it didn't show it on the TV. But um, at the time when they turned around, everyone had every, no one had nothing bad to say, no critic critique at all. Yeah, it's actually just compliments. And Guy, Guy was even so amazed. He said, "You know, like you just did, you killed it, man. Like you know, your, your guitar playing, your, your vocal was just." the package you did really well so it was really Love good it. to hear from them yeah.